In the fate of the Furious, the team hit the streets of the Big Apple. But shooting there offered a unique challenge. On screen, we like to push our cars into triple digits, but shooting on the streets in New York meant keeping speeds to a cool 35 miles per hour. Here's a look at how we captured the action of New York. New York in itself, the metropolis, is such a great canvas for streetcar chases. And the action that ensues in New York City is just so hard to beat. It's such a great location. You see our team drive through Times Square. First, you think, how'd they do that? Second, you think, damn, they did that. As soon as I heard we have to go shoot New York, I was like, well, this is special. This is beyond a challenge. New York has got the toughest restrictions. You say you're going to do a car chase in New York City. The New York Police Department, they have seen Fast and Furious moves, and they know the destruction that we incur. And so we had to have a lot of discussions about where cameras were going to be placed, exact locations, and what time of day was going to come into play. So it's tough. It's a really tough thing to handle. All right, let's go. The fact that they kind of opened their arms up for us was very good for us. But originally, we went in there saying we're not going to be able to do this at all. I mean, who's going to let us race cars through Times Square? The biggest problem about shooting in New York City is people, they walk everywhere they go. You have a lot more people on the ground in New York City than you have in any other city. And the fact that they're not going to stop for a movie crew. You have to really be thinking all the time just to keep everything safe because the streets are crowded. When you do get them off the street, they're off the street by about a quarter inch. They don't step off back away from the curb. And you can be coming by at 45, 50 miles an hour right against the curb and they are not moving. We had 150, 200 people around some of the cars we weren't using, and I was just amazed that you'd see from every single lifestyle, from every single part of the world, people taking pictures of Fast and Furious cars. And police officers are coming over and leaning down and saying, hey, can I you know, come over and lean down and get a picture? The New York Police Department came in. I gotta say that they are a big fan of Fast and Furious too. They let us do things a little more than what I think they normally do and said, we're gonna let you do it until we can see that you're at a, a point where we think it's dangerous. And then we're gonna say no, because nobody's ever done what we've done in New York City. And the New York Police Department and the mayor were part of it. Dom's team on the street is so iconic primarily because you don't ever see cars like that going that fast in New York City. We started out with going five miles an hour. You go five miles an hour, show us your entire run. We're gonna go 10 miles an hour the next time. Then we're gonna go 15. We're gonna keep building it up until you can prove to me that you've got everything in hand. Just at the end. That's when you have to build up the relationship with all of your people that are working on the streets. Police officers were very, very nice, very good to us. They'd let traffic run and then they'd block it off. And as soon as that traffic got through our certain set of blocks, they would let us go and then let traffic go right behind us. Well, you have to have all those cars clear, which takes time. And when you have open roads in New York City, guess where all the people go? Hey, there's no cars. Let's go out and have a picnic in the road. So it just gets filled with people just like that. I mean, quickly. And then as soon as they say go, our cars gotta go. And so it's like a nightmare going, guys, there are people in the streets. Just watch the guys in the street. And then they're going, should we keep coming? Yeah, keep coming. I hope they get out of your way. This is the shot. When you're in New York, when they say go, you have 20 seconds. So you have the light. When the light changes, you're done. You stop. Or you get a real ticket. Or you go to jail. I mean, it literally is like that. They see no cars in the street for, you know, three seconds. It's time to go across the street. And that's something you have to always watch. Then there's the crazy ones that want to jump out there and stop the movie. We hit every single iconic spot. We shot Times Square, Flatiron Building, the library. We were shooting the library, and we're shooting out across to see the library and the steps and all that. And F.K. Gray's talking about, just make sure that that nobody's got their phones out and the DP starts laughing. And then when you see the shot, you don't see the steps. You don't see, it's just a wall of people and all with their phones up, I guess. That's all you see is phones. Not his vision, but it's, it's, it works. You can only drive 
speed limit, like 35 miles an hour, you cannot go faster. If you do, you get arrested. Sometimes they say you can't ever even break traction on a surface. We were able to do that. I mean, it's, it's certain things that I'm glad that they were able to help us, you know, create you know, an homage to New York. So it is challenging. I wish that they would let us do a little bit more because it is a great place to shoot.